all right so i hope that at least one person who's never made a beat in his life uh, or has never heard of what making beats is is watching today's video and that this video is gonna be the video that is going to help them start to make beats you feel me but let's say you just started out making beats or you've been making beats for 25 years uh, it's just a regular video man so we're gonna be making a beat from scratch starting with the melody and after that we're gonna lay down some drums under the melody so i'm still trying my best to uh, teach y'all something man let's get right into it all right so we got fl studio opened up i got a blank project right in front of me so i did nothing to it yet for some people this might look brand new for others y'all might have seen it uh over five a million times already but like i said i'm gonna be making a beat completely from scratch starting with the melody so uh, let's go right into it for the first melody i'm gonna start out with omnisphere i've been using it a lot more ever since i did that one video where i was uh, making a beat only using omnisphere it should pop up in uh, one of the corners so i'm gonna go into pads and strings and i'll uh, look for a preset that i like yeah i like that i'm gonna turn off the reverb since i want to add my own i'm gonna start out in uh, d sharp minor i set the bpm to 168 Some bass notes under it. <laughs> Sounds interesting. So I render that out. A lot of people asking why I render out my melodies. Just sounds a lot better pitching them down like this. Just gives a cool effect uh, compared to just pitching it down in the MIDI right here. So let's uh, try pitching the melody. Feel me? This gives a cool effect. I'm gonna send it to a mixer track and start out with the processing. Start out with the EQ. Boosting some of the high mids. Bring out some of the presence. Something like that. Another EQ. Kind of some of the harsh frequencies out. A little bit of compression, not too much. Uh, and if you add a little bit of compression to all your melodies, it kind of glues it all a little bit together. Because otherwise, in my opinion, it's all over the place. Like, you got very loud parts, very quiet parts. But if you put a, just a little bit of compression on every single melody, it kind of pushes it all down a little bit. kind of glues it together. Yo, I don't know how the fuck I came up with this shit. I put this little side chain in on Shaper Box to put it on top of the melody. I set the length to uh, 164th. That's this cool little effect to it. Let's try uh, automating that. Yo. Next time I open up Decapitator or oh, some distortion. Ooh. Add some reverb to it for all the vintage verb. Just add some, some space to it, some depth. Next time RC20, some vinyl noise. Mix out a little bit more vintage. Some distortion. The next melody. I'm looking for something that supports this melody so that uh, complements it perfectly. I think I'm just going to be copying over the chords and uh, opening up. Let's go for Analog Lab. Yeah. Add some more tempo to it. Makes it sound a little bit faster. Some low freezes to it. Got some of the lows out. Boost some of the highs. To really make it stand out. Only gonna add some reverb to it, tuck it in the back a little bit. Keep it very uh, minimalistic. Not do too much. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so I think something repetitive would sound good. Uh, so something that repeats every two bars, four bars, something like that. So I'm gonna open up Omnisphere and look for uh, a weird sound that I can manipulate a little bit. So let's go into Retro Land right here. Feel me something like that. Let's try that. Yeah, something like that. Oh, that's hard, actually. He killed a little bit. Really bring the highs out. Maybe try panning that to the right. 
something very subtle. This is really about sound selection. Like, if you've got a great sound selection, don't need to add a lot of effects to it. So only an EQ and some reverb, I think that uh, will be enough. I think that sounds better. That's all right. Only some EQ in and some reverb. So now for the next melody, we got a little gap right here. Since I uh, cut this part out of the accent, uh, so we're going to add something right here and uh, right here to kind of fill up the empty gaps, you feel me? That really makes every single individual melody stand out a little bit if you don't have everything playing at once. And to mess the rest of the melody, I'm open up atmosphere again, man. Fuck it. Ugly sound, man. What kind of fits the vibe? Start stretching it. Yo. Like I said, it's a very ugly preset, so the sound selection is not that great. So I really gotta uh, go through some uh, processing. Something like this. Some delay. That's a reverb. Turn it down a little bit. What's sounded crazy so far? I think I'm at like one or two more melodies too. I'm look for some sort of vocal chop and add a lot of the source into it to really match the vibe. And I'm really looking for something that's not really understandable, so no phrases or uh, words, something like that. Something you can't really understand. Like that. A lot of distortion. It's bad from left to right. And add some reverb to it. That's pretty much it. Turn it down a little bit. Lastly, uh, I think I'm gonna add a piano to it from uh, Keyscape. It's really um, enhanced the dark vibe a little bit. Cinematic preset. Change of the root notes, maybe. this up bring out the presence in the high mids yeah some compression and some distortion add some reverb to it that's pretty much it for the panel Alright, so I'm raising the beat real quick. I'll uh, start out with the intro, 16 bar hook, 16 bar verse, and I think uh, for the first part, first eight bars of the hook and first eight bars of the verse, I think it would sound cool if we uh, cut out these notes right here on the piano. So only have a hit on F sharp, have a repeat right there. And to match the 808 with these root notes, so in the first eight bars, the 808 is only hitting on F sharp, and uh, the 808 switches up right here, the 808 pattern. Alright, so next, I'm gonna uh, lay down some drums under the sample, and like always, every single drum sound I'm gonna be using, get from my Heaven Scent and Rook Season drum kit. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm not promoting bullshit, uh, these are the only kits I use, so if you got both of these kits, you got every single drum sound you need to lay down hard drums. Because so you got everything in it, 808s, uh, bonus loops, claps, effects, hi-hats, kicks, open hats, uh, percussion, snares, and some FL Studio themes. Uh, both of these kits right here and a sit man let's go right into it i'm gonna start out with the hi-hat and the snare to really get the balance going i'm add some rolls to it later snare yeah it's hard next i'm gonna crash to it Kind of to the left. Maybe four bars. That's some rolls to the to the highest. Open 
at se ud. Så vi pander dem op. Så vi kommer fra den rette side. Jeg vil ikke være her. For this beat, man, instead of 808, I'm actually going to use a sub bass uh, and a kick. Uh, like I said, we're going to need two patterns, uh, one for the first part and one for the second part to match the, the piano or uh, root notes. All right, let's go for the first pattern. I'm gonna lay down a kick pattern uh, to go on top of the sub bass. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for today's video. Uh, y'all make sure to let me know in the comments down below what y'all experience is with making beats. If you just started out making beats, if you've been making beats for a long time, or if you don't even know what a beat is, I just hope that uh, regardless of what stage of making beats you're in, that you learned one thing from this video. Uh, that's the most important thing. So I want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate all the support y'all been showing me lately. And if you like the drum sounds that I used in today's video, I'm having a link down in the first link down in the description. Uh, so make sure to go check that out. And that's pretty much all I have for today's video, man. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. I'm out.